Hello, everybody, and welcome to January 2nd, 2022. And we surely hope that you've recovered from uh, your national hangover day yesterday. And today we have an exciting day for you. Today, did you know, is 55 mile per hour speed limit day. You're probably going, what? Well, for many of you, you probably didn't know this, but back in 1973 was our really our first oil crisis. We became so dependent on OPEC oil that OPEC proclaimed an embargo against all nations perceived to be supporting Israel, which affected us. Now, I remember the oil embargo when it hit and seeing gas lines that were super long. But, you know, we really kind of need to think about that if you really want to turn on your mind. The fact was we were not producing enough domestic oil. We did not have the oil wells that we have today and we just weren't meeting our net, our demand. So up to this point, states had been the ones who were responsible for setting their own speed limits. You know, so, you know, the, the reality when we look at that, right, is that the state should be responsible, but in 1973, that didn't happen. So U.S. Congress passed the Emergency Highway Energy Conservation Act, and that included a max speed of 55 miles per hour on all four lane highways. So on Wednesday, January 2nd, 1974, President Nixon signed into law this bill and 60 days later, 60 days later, all states had to comply. So in 1995, US Congress lifted the federal speed limits um, in the National Highway Systems Designation Act. Man, what a mouthful. And most states went right back to their pre-1974 speed limits. And that's why you see speeds different from state to state. To state. So now, how about a little background? Actually, where did we get to where we got to a point where we had speed limits laws? Did you know that in 1652, col uh, the colony of New Amsterdam, which is now New York, agreed that wagons, carts, and or sleighs must not be driven at a gallop or at risk of getting a fine. And in 1861, the first numeric sign, um, speed limit sign um, came up and that was in UK. And get this, it was a whopping 10 miles per hour. So you could not go over 10 miles per hour. In 1903, the first comprehensive traffic code was uh, introduced in New York City. And in 1904, the very first paper speeding ticket was uh, issued in Dayton, Ohio to Harry Myers for speeding at, ready for this, 12 miles per hour. That's right, 12 miles per hour. And then our next major thing when it comes to speed limits was the 1974 President Nixon Go Slow Law. So there's a little bit of a timeline. Now, how can you observe today? Well, how about drive only at 55 miles per hour on the road, right? Maybe pay your outstanding tickets. That might be a good idea. And lastly, follow the speed limit on all roads. You know, the reality is uh, there's nothing that urgent that most of us can't slow down just a little bit and pay attention to what's going on around us. So follow your speed limits, keep people safe and happy 55 mile per hour day to everybody out there. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a great day.